Hey, crossword fans. Today, we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, January 15th, 2021. All right, let's get started. All right, today we don't have to worry about a crazy theme, so at least that part of the puzzle will be straightforward. Uh, ballpark figure, one across. Hmm. Well, it's Friday, so it's going to be a little tricky, even if they don't give you a question mark. So I'm guessing this isn't going to be what it looks like. Like, straightforwardly, a ballpark figure looks like it should be an estimate. So I'm thinking this is actually going to be like something you would see at a ballpark, like a baseball field, maybe. Um, not sure what it's going to be, though. There, there's just so many possibilities of what that could be. Honchos, like Big Boss or something like that. That would fit, but I'm not super confident. Fruits that are the basis of Marillin schnapps. Wow, I've never heard of this word before. Well, let's hope we can get some help with it. Dance with jerky move it, movements. Um, I'm going to take a stab at this one. I think this might be the robot. Okay, that's good. We got our first toe hold in here. Actress Julie of Modern Family. I haven't watched Modern Family, so I don't know that one. Cross to bear. Um, that's like your... Uh, oh, I'm blanking on it. It's your, it's your, it's not onus, is it? Mm, let's come back. Casual agreement. I guess that could be nod or, hmm. Let's see if we can get an across here. Wallet holder since 2015. Wallet. Is that gonna be like a digital wallet maybe? Hmm. Matured. I'm going to guess it probably ends in ED, so maybe that lends some credence to my nod idea. I'm still not sure what this is, though. Hmm. Some office desk clutter. Hmm. Boy, this is a tough corner. Safari's compass. Okay, they're talking about Safari the web browser, so that's going to be the icon. Whew, all right, got some confirmation. Mass. Hmm. I don't think they're talking about church. I think they're just talking about a big blob of something, maybe. Hmm. Eclipsed everyone else. Stood above? No. Boy, this corner is really tough. One getting fired up for the for competition. Uh hmm. Play on words. Fired up sounds like is it like hot air balloons or something? What else? What other like sport has firing up? Like literally firing up. Huh. Boy, just did not have much luck in here. Hopefully we can build back across, but... This looks like it might end in an S, though. Hmm. It, would it be like street racers or something? Let's, let's try to break into a different area here. Sentimentality. There's a lot of words that mean sentimental. Oh my goodness. Yeah, not gonna get that one. Topic and property, property law colloquially. Like a good job, maybe. Hmm. Prominent part of a pump. I mean, a pump is a woman's shoe, right? So maybe it's the heel, maybe? Hmm. RX pickups. That's going to be an abbreviation for something you pick up at a pharmacy, like prescriptions. Maybe script is too long though. Hmm. Story blank. 
Story time? No. Oof, another honcho. Look at that. Honchos and honcho. County in Northern Ireland. Oh my god, give me a break here. Peels off. Hmm. I mean, I think this is probably going to be like peels off in a car or maybe maybe it's talking about like peeling off a sticker. Because when you have a play on words clue, whatever it seems like at first blush is usually not what it is, what it is. And so my first thought when I hear the words peels off is to like peel off in a car, like screeching tires. So, hmm. Bottom of an interrobang. Okay. That's a dot. An interrobang is a uh, exclamation point and a question mark combined, but they still just have one dot at the bottom. So that's something. Nested layers. Well, I guess maybe nested layers are a bird. So maybe it's hens, like Layers is in birds that lay eggs. I mean, all birds lay eggs, but you think of chickens as the ones that lay eggs primarily. Hmm. Honcho. Could that just be leader? Kind of manual. That could be how to manual, maybe. Sticky snack. Made with a stick. Sticky snack made with a stick. Is it some sort of lollipop or popsicle maybe? Hmm. Just a whole lot of trivia that I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Israel's Dion. I don't know that one. Uses a manual, say. All right, I think this is maybe a manual transmission. So maybe they're just talking about drives, like drives a car. But then what would this be? Hmm. Eclipsed everyone else. Boy. Shower heads, perhaps. Mindless. Hmm. Change for some sawbucks, maybe. All right, so this is, a sawbuck is a $10 bill. It's a slang for a $10 bill. So I guess they're thinking, they're asking for a bill you would get in exchange. So you could think it maybe it's ones, but that's, I think because the clue has sawbucks in it, it has to be another slang term for a, a different kind of bill. So I think it's going to be Abe's for $5 bills. Whew, okay. Written in the stars. Hmm. Is it just above? That doesn't really make sense. Catches. Hmm. Can we build off anything else? Boy, no, we're really running out of options. Percussion in some folk music that may be improvised. Hmm. Is it like when they slap the guitar or something? We have to move on again. Oh boy, this is this is getting ugly. Okay, writers, writers, rolled and Sophie. I know we're all doll. So that's dolls. I guess I wonder if Sophie doll is his wife or sister or daughter or something. I wonder if they're related. All right. Um, spilled the tea, so to speak. So this is not literally spilling tea, but figuratively, you would be dishing or you dished, which is gossiping. Okay. Model Boyd, who inspired the songs Layla and Wonderful Tonight. 
I mean, I know those are Clapton songs, but I don't know the name of that model. Feel for. Is that like you have a feel for? Like you have a talent for something? Or is it empathizing with someone? Hmm. Break neck or something to break. Well, break. Break neck just means you're going fast. And I guess if you are fasting, you would break a fast when you ate eventually. So yeah, I guess it's fast. All right, we're getting a little bit of progress here. Boy, look at this grid. This is just so ugly. It's like <laughs> answers separated all over the place. This is not what I want to see. Wild, uh, maybe feral. The wolf in sheep's clothing for one. Maybe it's just a fable. Can we work off this B? Ferrari alternative slangly. All right, that's a Lambo. Hear all those Bitcoin millionaires talking about Lambos. Okay. So maybe we can get this one now. Shower head, heads perhaps. Okay, so this is another tricky clue. On Fridays, sometimes you almost have to think every single clue could potentially be a play on words, even though it doesn't have a question mark. And so I think this is a different kind of shower. It's probably a wedding shower. So this is looking like it might be made of honor, but it's plural, so it's maids of honor. And then I guess, I guess it's not drives. Okay, I'll leave that S in because it's looking good as part of Abe's, but. Hmm. Maybe it shifts. That's better because it's more specific. It's something you can only do with a manual transmission. Okay, that's good. Mm, can we get this? One getting fired up for competition. We thought that might be an S, right? Okay, yeah. Maybe it's a starter pistol. <laughs> and I guess you fire a starter pistol straight up in the air, so it's fired up. Wow. These clues are super tricky today. All right. Th this model I'm not going to get still. Hmm. This looks like it might be spoons, though. Okay, so yeah, I think it is spoons actually. And then another slang for five that's not Abe is Finn. Okay. Spoons, that's good. That's looking real good. Mindless. I guess that's rote. If you learn something by rote, you just learn it through repetition, drilling it into your head mindlessly. Yeah, I'm not going to get that. Um, yeah, I don't. All right. Well, it looks like maybe it ends in rights, but. Uh, could it be squatters rights? I mean, it fits. Let's see if that. Let's see if that works, because we desperately need some help here. Hit Netflix reboot starring the Fab Five. That's Queer Eye. That was on the puzzle a week or so ago. Okay. There's often a lot of them for sale. Again, uh, another, I think, plan words that's not indicated. A lot. So that's probably maybe something with real estate or... Yeah, a good job would be cushy, right? This is used cars. Yeah, used cars are on a lot. And then sentimentality, I think maybe could be schmaltz. Let's see if that confirms story arc. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah it could be anything. Ty Tyrone? 
Tyron peels off zests. Yep. Okay. Hopefully we can get this one at least. Sticky snack. Hmm. I'm still not having any luck with that one. Okay, Eclipse to everyone else is going to be stole the show. Uh, okay, sticky snack made with a stick because you use a stick to roast a marshmallow for a s'more. Very good. All right. Uh, oh, oh no. Uh, I guess, okay, this we can get. Feel for, I guess, is pity. I guess so it's... Patty Boyd. She inspired a couple of classic songs. All right. Uh, fruits, Marillion schnapps. I mean, it's looking like apricots, so I'm just gonna put it in. I've never heard of Marillion schnapps before, so I'm assuming it's some sort of dessert, or maybe it's schnapps. Maybe it's a, an, a liqueur or something. Okay. Um, a mass? Is it a... Hmm. It's not gob, right? That doesn't really sound right. F files? Hmm. Matured. Hmm. It's pH, though. Wallet holder. Is that iPhone? I think I think it probably is iPhone. So I'm going to take out Nod because I think they introduced their wallet app around that time. A ballpark figure could be a batter. Red. That looks bad. Um. Hmm. Yeah, boy, this is not looking good. What's this down here? Honchos. Okay, maybe that's big wigs? It is gob. Yeah, I guess it's there was a gob of something or other. Yeah, okay. Uh, I guess that could be wires, office desk clutter, matured. Cross to bear. Hmm. Is it not batter? This is a tough one because I don't know this person's name, so be like Tobin or something. But this looks this looks weird. And I was thinking it was Onus, right? Before. So yeah, let's take out batter. Let's put in Onus. And then yeah, okay, then I'm seeing grew up. And then yeah, ballpark figure could be bat boy. There we go. Casual agreement. Yep. Bowen, Julie Bowen, don't know her. Whew, boy, that was a really tough corner. Some perseverance got us there though. All right, let's see if we can finish off the bottom here. Blanked on, maybe that's just forgot. Recess. Uh, that could be an alcove, right? Like an architectural recess maybe? Game that can be played on bicycles or elephants. I guess that's polo. I'd rather people played that on bicycles. Fantasy monster. That's an orc. All right. This is starting to fall a little easier. Frost accumulation. Hmm. Frost. I mean, there's a poet whose last name is Frost. <laughs> Yeah, it's poems. Yeah, this is that thing that they do. It's it's really tricky. It's usually they save it for later week puzzles and 
you know, if if they had clued this differently, if they clued this clue accumulation of frost, which would have made sense also, frost would have been at the end and you would have noticed that it was capitalized and it would have been a lot easier to be like, oh, they're looking for, this is a name, so I need to watch out, but they're really tricky about, instead they'll hide that capital letter at the beginning of a sentence where it's, it looks innocuous. But so yeah, you gotta be super careful about that stuff later in the week. All right, complete loss of self-identity. I guess that's ego death. Sounds pretty serious. Uh, where one might hear a call for action. That would be a movie set director would call out action. Members of some blended families. I think that's gonna be step, I guess step sons is the only thing that fits there. Is that right? Baba Ganoush is a dip, a dip, yep. Number shown in brackets. Hmm, number shown in brackets. They actually give you the, <laughs> they're kind enough to give you the question mark on this one. Brackets like in a basketball bracket, like a tournament bracket. I think that's actually seed. So maybe it's step dads. Yeah, oh, there was another option there. Okay, catches. Hmm. Hidden Figures Org, that's NASA. That was a movie about computers at NASA. Human computers. Written in the stars. Okay, that's faded snags for catches. Yeah, that all looks great. Captured in a way. Hmm, maybe like captured like on film or on tape. Some sort of recording maybe. Fashion designer's portfolio. I believe that's called a look book. I've got some family that did some fashion stuff. So I think I might have that in the recesses of my brain somewhere. Iowa College. Hmm. I don't know that one. Employs as a backup plan with two. Hmm. Symbols of strength, oaks are traditional symbols of strength. X, 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 L. Hmm. I mean, it's like a t-shirt size, right? Hmm. Hot streak. Is this about running around naked? I don't think so. Hmm. I don't know what the pun is here. I don't have enough to make a good guess at it. Metaphorical incentive. That'll be the carrot as opposed to the stick. Goes quietly, perhaps. I mean, I guess that could be sneaks, maybe. Hmm. Hosts, yeah, MCs. That's looking good. Jacket, blank jacket. Maybe jean jacket? Those are super cool in the 80s. Uh, really weird. Hmm. What's this across again? Jumbo, maybe? Outre. Yeah, that is, that means bizarre. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure what language that is. I would guess it would, just, it would be French, probably borrowed from. Hot streak. Oh, I guess that's a meteor. It would be a hot streak in the atmosphere. Oh yeah, okay, on camera. That's kind of, yeah, in the area I was thinking it would be in. And then what is this? Resorts to. Yeah, that sounds good. So this is Co. I haven't heard of Co. Uh, but let's see if that finishes the puzzle for us. Whew. Boy, that was a tough one. I uh, really struggled my way through that one. Um, yeah, I just think it was classic Friday difficulty, just very tough cluing. I don't think any of it was unfair necessarily. It was just really, really hard clues. And you know, that's kind of what you want on a Friday. So I appreciate the challenge. I hope you enjoyed solving with me. Um, and I will see you tomorrow for maybe an even tougher puzzle 
a Saturday. All right, I'll see you next time. <laughs>